Find the area between the curve f of x equals x cubed minus x squared minus 5x minus 3 and the x-axis between x equals negative 1 and x equals 3. The graph of the curve is shown. So for a function f where we can see that the graph is below the x-axis over the interval we're trying to find the area over, we can use the following formulae to find that area. So the first option is to introduce a negative sign at the front of the integral because the definite integral um, for a part of the curve that's under the x-axis is going to be negative, so two negatives will make that area value positive. Or we can swap the terminals of integration. So instead of going from A to B, we now go from B to A. So in this video, we're going to do the second option. We're going to swap the terminals of integration. So our area can be written as the integral. And now instead of negative 1 to 3, we're going to go between 3 and negative 1 for our function, which is x cubed minus x squared minus 5x minus 3 dx which means we can evaluate that by finding the antiderivative. So we're going to have x and then wherever we have the power we add 1. So we have x to the power of 4 divided by the new power which is 4 minus x and we'll add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. And then we have minus 5x add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. And finally for the constant term we introduce the variable x and now to make this a positive value we've swapped the terminals so it's between 3 and negative 1. So our fundamental theorem of integral calculus says that we can evaluate that by substituting in negative 1 to the antiderivative and then subtracting away 3 substituted into the antiderivative. So this is equal to, so we have negative 1 to the power of 4 divided by 4 and then we have minus negative 1 to the power of 3 divided by 3 minus 5 times negative 1 squared over 2 minus 3 times negative 1 and then we subtract away the antiderivative with 3 substituted in so we have 3 to the power of 4 over 4 minus 3 to the power of 3 over 3 minus 5 times 3 to the power of 2 over 2 minus 3 times 3. So if you go through and simplify that, we have that negative 1 to the power of 4 is 1 over 4. Then we have negative and negative 1 cubed is still negative, so that becomes a positive 1 third. And then 5 times negative 1 squared is 5, so we have minus 5 on 2. And then minus 3 times minus 1 is plus 3. Then from that we subtract away the next part. So 3 to the power of 4 is 81 over 4. Then we have minus, and it's going to be uh, 27 over 3, which is 9. And then we have 5 times 3 squared, which is 5 times 9, is uh, minus 45 on 2. And then we have minus 9. So if you go through and get a common denominator for that, you find that that is equal to 64 on 3 units squared. And that is the area of that red region uh, bounded by our curve f of x and the x-axis. So because 64 on 3 doesn't have an exact decimal, we'll just leave it as a fraction.